Well, good afternoon. I first want to take this time um, to recognize at recognize Ward Director, uh, City Director Cappy Peck, along with uh, members of the restaurant community here in the city of Little Rock uh, that were available uh, to make it during this crucial time. And thank everyone else that are in attendance. As more people are tested for COVID-19 and more people test positive for it, we must take additional action to slow the spread. Therefore, beginning Friday, March 20th, restaurants and bars in Little Rock will be mandated to only provide takeout, curbside, and home delivery services until further notice. We will reassess every two weeks. City administration will reevaluate this urgent need. Governor Hutchison and Secretary of Health, Dr. Nathaniel Smith, provided the author authorization in accordance with guidance from the White House to limit social gatherings to fewer than 10. This decision did not come lightly. In fact, it was heavily discussed among our team with restaurant owners. And I am extremely sensitive to the fact that this could lead to job loss for people in our community. But Little Rock already has been impacted by community transmission, which means we are unsure of how many individuals have contracted the coronavirus. Limiting physical contact, social gathering, social distancing is the best way to stop the virus from spreading. In order to assist restaurant and bar owners that may need to find other means of revenue during this time, the City of Little Rock will temporarily waive the restaurant's zoning restrictions and approve temporary uses of their space. For instance, restaurants may begin using their space as specialty grocery stores, boutique food markets, and etc. So long as the maximum occupancy does not exceed 10 individuals at any given time. This allows our local eateries the flexibility and creativity to generate revenue lost due to social distancing. We strongly encourage our restaurants to use their vital, vitally important waiters and waitresses in other capacities, like car hops and delivery drivers, so they do not lose their income as a result. Restaurants will not need a different business license to deliver food. We want residents to continue to support our hospitality industry. How can you do that? Please get your food and go home. In fact, you'll see and hear this phrase quite a bit. For now, this is our new normal. We're seeing cities around the country making this order because we have to do everything within our power to stop COVID-19. Please visit LittleRockGov LittleRock.gov forward slash COVID-19 to gain further insight about what you can do to best protect yourself and your loved ones. And we are appreciative to the governor for working to ease the burden on businesses and family during this crisis. We know that Little Rock as a major population center in the state will have many, many residents needing assistance. And so we'll be doing our part everything we can do to make sure our residents are aware of the available assistance. We are also working very strategically and personally with our federal delegation. One of those is the suspension of the work requirement through April to receive SNAP benefits. The other is ex expedited unemployment benefits to assist Arkansans who employment status may be impacted by the COVID-19 outbreak. In addition, the work search requirements has been waived for 30 days, allowing unemployed persons to receive benefits without seeking other employment. This exception applies only to those employed by businesses that are temporarily closed with plans to reopen. And anyone needing to apply for their benefits can avoid going to a workforce center. You can apply by phone or online in order to further reduce the risk of spreading COVID-19. All of this information will be on LittleRock.gov forward slash COVID-19. We have time for three more questions. Yes. Uh, 
My job is to lead the city of Little Rock, and I'm doing everything in my effort uh, to be precautionary and take out abundance of caution to protect the public health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of Little Rock. Our yes. Excuse me, didn't hear that question. Well, what we have shared is that we are temporarily changing some of the restaurant zoning laws uh, and permits to allow for our restauranteurs to be creative. So we understand that will take some time, but in the meantime, uh, this order is in place that they can go to take out delivery. And if they need any extra help, that our city stands there to be helpful. Yes. Eight o'clock. Eight a.m. I have a question about, uh, as I understand it, one of your dispatchers for nine one one might have been exposed to a possible COVID nineteen case, and some other dispatchers are concerned about their safety working in close quarters with them. Um, it, are they facing disciplinary actions if they call in sick and self quarantine? Uh, to, that, to my knowledge, there's no disciplinary action being faced at this point in time. Uh, we do, however, have visited with the Arkansas Department of Health, and we understand that there's no member of the Little Rock Police Department that has uh, contracted COVID-19. Thank you. Thank you so much.